Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and indeed information about the board games you might just want to have in your own collection. So let's start this Kickstarter preview for the very lovely Paris. In 19th century Paris, you set out to collect the most eminent buildings in the districts of the city. On your turn, you'll place a building tile to its district, place a key in a district for money or on a building for ownership, or you can even add a landmark to your district. The winner is the person with the most victory points from scoring districts by owning the highest sum of buildings or from the bonus tiles around the board. Thing one, what's this game all about? Well, Paris is clearly a game about Paris, but not as you might expect. There's nothing to do with sightseeing or going on tours. Basically, you're buying buildings in specific districts to dominate and to win. And it's kind of an unexpected take on, well, Paris. There is a theme of sorts here, but it's really more of a setting. And it's one that, it's one that feels very flat and pasted on. Everything looks like Paris, but it doesn't really drag you into that kind of rich and luxurious world you might have anticipated. Now, similar games to this one, well, it certainly echoes some of Kiesling and Kramer's other designs, but I think the way the area control is handled here does make it feel like quite a different game. Thing two, mechanics. Well, everything in Paris is based upon, you know, where you place your keys to claim buildings. It's an area control game through and through. And I know we've seen plenty of these before, so it's not the freshest idea. But the way you jostle for position in each section actually is quite exciting and different. Um, and it's important in these sections to decide whether you want to try score victory points, you want to be in the lead, or if you want to go on a lower number tile and pick up bonus tiles and victory points from around the edge of the board. There's quite a bit going on here. And not only that, this is definitely a game that you really have to watch what your opponents are up to because it can greatly affect your plans. Like being the person, for instance, who can choose how many points each section scores is a really powerful advantage. And you get this by being the fourth per person to claim a building in a particular district. It adds a whole other layer of strategy and you can really go for kind of a, a watch and wait game here. Um, overall, this, this is a pretty simple game in terms of mechanics, but it's a really interesting one too and offers lots of new approaches to area control. Thing three, on the table. Well, Paris is kind of jaw-dropping when you set it up. It's really, really beautiful. And I think this is in part due to the fact that it's got this big circular board, it's got some 3D printed pieces, and generally just kind of oozes finesse and elegance. Oddly enough, despite the fact it's big, it doesn't actually take up that much space on the table. It's very, very tidy. And the setup is pretty straightforward, albeit there is a number of tokens you'll have to put out before you play. It takes about 60 minutes for two of us and about 90 minutes for four. And the rule book that comes with the game is really, really good and very clear and concise. Overall, the replayability in this game is going to come from who you play with because it is just so interactive. And that means that there's plenty of strategies to learn and uncover the more you play the game. Thing four, how does this game look and feel? Well, Paris is the fanciest prototype I've ever seen. So that can only bode well for what the finished product itself is gonna look like. There are some very nice chunky pieces here and the art on the board and tiles is quaint, cute, and probably true to the period itself. Now, the addition of the Arc de Triomphe makes the game stand out a bit and adds a level of depth that most board games don't get at two dimensions. Otherwise, this would just be a flat circle with writing on it. I think it actually really needed the 3D element just to make everything pop. Now, do we think the art could have gone further? Possibly, but it is very nice and lovely as it is. Thing five, is this game any good? Well, the first thing you should know is I'm really, really excited about Paris and have been for a while. I'm a really big fan of Kiesling and Kramer's designs, whether they work together, whether they work separately. Yeah, big fan. And the problem I have is that I haven't spent a lot of time with this prototype. I have played a number of games, but I haven't had kind of time or space to kind of percolate on my ideas about the game that I would for a regular review. So you're gonna to have to treat this as a kind of a first impressions idea. 
So when I first played Paris, I tried it at two players and I honestly thought I was missing something or I'd misread a rule. Um, it was just so difficult to fill the board with enough keys to be able to score zones. The end of it dragged on for absolutely forever and it felt like I had no choice but to move into zones with my opponent or otherwise I couldn't score anywhere. It wasn't fun to play, the board felt far too big and it, all in all it just didn't sit very well with me. Um, and the reason for this is that at its core this is a highly interactive game and normally in area control games when you translate it to two player or less um, it just becomes really strategic you know you bounce back and forth but that's really not the case here. Now the good news is is that Paris does really shine but at four players it fixes all of the two player issues I had. It made the game much more timely, there was lots of jostling for position, well because there was so many more keys on the board and it really became more fun, engaging and exciting as you attempt to crawl your way to the top. This is a game about well people and interaction far more than it is about Paris. Do I think you should have Paris in your collection? Well, if you're looking for a game in which you and your friends are going to jostle for position to see who comes out on top, then Paris is that interactive Euro game for you. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. Why not like or subscribe to the channel so you can get updates about my future videos? Or if you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Paris, just send them off in the comment box below. And tune in again next time for more short and informative board game reviews.